Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a smoky brown eye look paired with a beautiful red lip. If you are interested in seeing how I achieve this look, keep watching.
So today we are going to be doing a brown smoky eye look. I thought it would be nice to teach you all how to transition into a black smoky eye. But first off, starting with a brown smoky eye because it's a lot simpler, it's a lot easier. I feel like it's less complicated and less technical. So let's get started. All right, so to get started, I'm gonna be using my eyeshadow primer. I got this off of Amazon. I'm gonna mix a bit of this with some concealer. This is my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Chestnut. I'm gonna put just a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm going to mix the two and then I'm gonna use this brush to apply it to my lids. You don't need a lot, you just need enough to prime your lid, but not too much because it can take away from the shadow once you start packing it into your lid. All right, for this tutorial, we're gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. To start, I am going to take color number, I'm not about to count these, but I'm about to take this shade right here. And I'm going to use that as my transition color. So I'm just gonna sweep that across my lid using my Sonia Kashuk brush. And again, this is just to work as my transition color, so it's not really gonna show up that much, but that's perfectly fine because once we start putting on the shadow, everything will look seamless and you'll be able to tell the difference. On top of that color, I'm packing in this color. So for my two transition shades, I'm using this one first and then I'm packing this over it. I don't know why I didn't start off with that one, but it's okay. And you can see the color coming on. Once you feel like you've got enough color on, you can move on to your next shade. And for the next shade, we are going to use this color right here, right in your crease. Once you have it in your crease, then you want to start doing circular motions to take the color in. Slowly build up that color. Do not pack your brush. Slowly build up the color as you go. So you can see the difference. This has a bit more depth. This one doesn't, and that's because I've added that second color. I'm gonna go in with my second layer now. Tap off the excess right in your crease and then pull the color in with circular motions. And the reason I'm doing looking down is because I've already did my base. I don't want to get any shadow on my skin. So I'm looking down to prevent any fallout from getting on my skin. And then it's also allowing me to really get into my crease. All right, to give it a bit more depth because the brown that's in the Jaclyn Hill palette is not as dark as I would like. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 35O palette and I am gonna go in with a deeper brown. And I think I'm gonna go in with this brick red brown right here. It looks like it's red, but it's not. Actually, you know, let's go in with this one. Cause I really wanna build up the definition on the outer corner of my eye. So using the same brush, pack that color. Circular motions to pull it in. And then I'm gonna do like a cat eye out here. So I'm gonna bring it down to my lower lash line. All 
All right, I'm gonna go in with my tapered crease brush and I'm going to combine these two browns right here again in my outer corner just to give it a bit um, more depth. I'm just tapping the brush in both. And looking down, All right, I'm gonna go in with a brown. This is a tannish brown now, and I'm going to put this all over my lid. I'm using this brush from Anastasia Beverly. It's a double head brush. I got it in one of her palettes. Again, brush up the excess, grab your mirror. Next up, you're gonna pack this brown onto the lid. So you're gonna pack it on top of the first brown that we put down on the lid, and that is just going to intensify it. This palette has a beautiful orange color right up here. We are going to take this and just run it over that first transition color that would look that we put down and what that's going to do is it's going to kill any harsh lines that you may have. Remember you want to tap off any excess. I'm using my hand for the excess powder or shadow and then you're just going to run it across. All right, I've grabbed my Morphe brush. This is my super fluffy brush. I'm gonna go back into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to go back in with those first two colors that I used, this one and this one, and that is just to blend everything together. So I'm going to lightly dip my brushes in there. I'm not trying to overly coat, but this is just to make everything blend well together. So far, I'm really, really happy with how it turned out, but I don't want any harsh lines, so we're just here. Next up, we are going to go in with this light color up here. And this is just gonna go on our brow bone. Very lightly apply it to your brow bone because sometimes these color will come off ashy and not really as a highlight. And what I'm trying to do is I just wanna highlight my brow bone. So I'm gonna wipe off the excess and then go in. And if it looks like it's too much, grab your brush and blend it out. Same thing. Grab your brush and blend it out. Next up, we are going to add some black eyeliner. All right, so for the lower lash line, we are going to go from dark to light. So we're gonna go in with the first dark color, the last dark color that we use, and then we're gonna end up with our transition shade. So I'm just dipping this angled Morphe brush in the dark color, tap off the excess, as always. I'm 
I'm gonna go in with the next brown that I used up here. All right, you guys, for the tear duct, I'm gonna go in with one of these shimmery colors right here. And I'm just gonna pack that in the tear duct to make the eye pop a little bit more. I'm gonna use a flat brush to do that. And you guys may notice I already have my lashes on. I did that while my battery was charging because it died. But um, I put on some really uh, dramatic lashes. I love them. These are by my cousin. <laughs> but yeah, so once we do that, we're going to apply some mascara to the bottom lash line. And then we're going to go in with uh, eyeliner just to make the waterline pop a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna finish the rest of my face really quickly and then we are going to have the final review. So I'm gonna speed this up. So today we are gonna be doing a red lip. I don't think I've ever done a red lip on my channel, so this is actually gonna be really, really good. Um, to start off, I'm gonna use my favorite lip liner, the NYX Professional Lip Liner in Espresso. I'm going to slightly overline my lips, and this is just gonna help me put the lipstick in the lines and not outside the lines, so it's kind of like a guide. And then it also makes some areas of my lips that are darker um, one color, which just makes the lipstick look better in my opinion. I'm gonna go in with the Sephora Red, number 94. This is one of my favorite red lipsticks, like, favorite. It's really creamy. It dries matte without making your lips um, super dry. We're not done yet. I'm gonna go in with my Colored Rain lipstick in Cherry Blossom. This is another favorite. I think I just really love red lipstick because I have like eight different colors and they're all red, but they're different in my opinion. We are just gonna put this right over the Sephora Red. If you happen to get any red on your skin, all you have to do is get a concealer or your foundation and clean up around the corners of your mouth. And I'm actually gonna do that because it just makes the red lipstick pop and it just makes it look amazing. So grab your concealer, a flat brush.
gonna set our face. All right, you guys, this is the final look. Again, we did a brown smoky eye and we paired it with a red lip. This is a very simple look. If you are a beginner, I'm all about teaching beginners because I feel like there's so many people out there who know how to do makeup and there's so many people out there who want to learn how to do makeup. And if you want to learn how to do a smoky eye, the best way to start is with a brown smoky eye because it's easy. It teaches you how to build up the color. It teaches you how to use transition shades and it teaches you just how to use simple products, you know? We used about four different colors and they were all in the family of browns except for the little orange that we used. But they were all in the brown family and they all worked well together. So if you try this tutorial out, please let me know. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you all in the next tutorial. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for supporting me. I love you guys. Take care and stay safe.